hello guys welcome back this tutorial demonstrates a different way of merging photos there are many ways to do this and I have explored other tools in my older videos so don't forget to watch those two the method we'll be using today allows you to easily merge as many images as you like First of all, I'm going to choose an image to work with by going to File, Open and double click on the image. Now using the Quick Selection tool, ensure that the Add Selection tool is selected. To check it, it has been selected. Look out for the plus sign. I'm going to change the brush size to 7 by pressing the square brackets and entering preferred number. Now I am going to select the outline of the image by dragging the mouse over the photo. It's a little easier to make the selection as the background is one color. The selection is quite quick but having said that multicolored backgrounds are also easy. To be more precise with the outline you can zoom in to the image by pressing Ctrl and plus. Being very precise helps when it comes to merging the photos otherwise it can look a little odd so I'm taking my time and making sure I get it close to perfect here a little too much has been outlined so I'm going to select the subtract selection tool and carefully outline using my mouse for the hair, I am going to select the Add to Selection tool again to outline more of the hair. Here there is a gap so again I will be using the Subtract tool so the background is not outlined with the image. The brush size is little too big so I am going to change the brush size smaller to 3 as the area is narrow. It will be easier and allow me to get a better outline. To undo the selection, press Ctrl and Z and start the selection again. It's quite difficult to see if this is where the gap ends, but it will do for now. That is the outline pretty much done, so I am going to zoom out by pressing Ctrl and minus. Now I'll right click on the mouse and select Refine Edge and adjust the edges by changing the smooth level to 10 feather level to 1 pixel and contrast level to 10 then click ok you can experiment with different level to see what you prefer after this i'll copy the image by going to edit copy then create a photoshop document by going to file new and change the canvas size to wide 1400 and height 1100 and press ok now select a background color i am going for a dark red and leaving the foreground as white then select the layer style option followed by gradient to change the style to radial and choose a pattern i have selected foreground to background after this press ok now you can change the scale of the gradient if you like i'm going to keep it at 100 then press ok i'm going to play around with the opacity scale to soften the gradient feel now i'll paste the image i copied earlier by going to edit paste now I can move the image around by selecting the move tool. I can also resize by pressing Ctrl and T which activates the free transform tool. Then by holding down shift you can drag your mouse to resize and when done press the confirmation mark. Now you can move the image around to a suitable location on the canvas. In order to merge another photo with this one. I'll click file and open a different image. Just as the previous image by selecting the quick selection tool, 
I'm going to first change the brush size to 5 and make sure add to selection tool is highlighted. Right now I'll make a quick outline then zoom into the photo to make sure it is more precise. Press Ctrl and plus to zoom in. The shoes need a little bit of altering, so I am going to outline it properly. And it seems though the rest has been done perfectly, so I don't need to use the subtract selection tool. Just to recap on how the subtract would work in this case. If you were to outline excessively, you would select the subtract tool and drag the mouse around the desired area. Like so, I'll keep making changes by going back and forth using the add to selection tool and subtract tool. Now to see the entire image at once, I'll zoom out by pressing Ctrl and minus and make any changes to the selection if necessary. Like the first image, I'll copy the image by going to edit, copy and navigating to the document which we created before. Then pasting it by going to edit, paste, I'll now resize the image. First making sure I am on the right layer which is layer 2. Then by pressing Ctrl and T to activate free transform and holding down shift to resize to maintain the proportion of the image when done click on confirmation mark if you need to resize the first image you can do so by clicking on the corresponding layer so i'll click on the layer one and resize by activating free transform press ctrl and t then holding down shift to resize and position the image then click the confirmation mark. I am happy with how the image are placed so I am going to merge it. To merge both of the layers you can see that layer 1 is already selected. I will hold down shift and select both layers with the mouse. Then by clicking on layers, merge layers or press ctrl and e we can merge the images together this allows the images to become one layer so it is easier to edit so to save the document you can go to file save as and choose the file name location and format as usual i'm choosing to save the format as jpeg then click ok this is the end of the tutorial I hope you have learned a new and easy way of merging photos in Photoshop. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos. Leave any suggestions for topics or videos you would like to see. Thank you for watching.